Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel, and today I'll be reading a multi-character listener by me, so let's get into it. Nouvellet Nouvellet was not sure what would wake you up in such a state, but it was something that was a little bit frightening for him, because he was sleeping very peacefully and very deeply. When he woke up to the sound of you screaming, so of course he was startled, and sprang up and out of the bed, to look at you, and only found you, trembling and shaking, as you tried to breathe. Sweetheart, is everything all right? I'm rather worried about you, he said, and moved to wrap an arm around you when you flinched away, and that's when you stopped, looking at you in confusion, and worry, a lot of worry. But eventually... You calmed down a lot more, and you just tried to breathe in and out as he told you, while he just settled for holding your hand and squeezing it. You'll be fine, I promise, he said, and you trusted him, just trying your best to calm down, and once you eventually did, he opened his arms for you, and you let out a soft breath, going into them and wrapping your arms around him tightly. All you wanted was to be in his embrace, to feel safe and away from all those nightmares. You'll be alright, I promise you. You're safe now, he said. He didn't know what you were going through, but at the very least, he knew very well how to help you. He didn't try to pry and know what was going on, since he knew that you may not be ready for that yet, and he wanted to give you time. He was not going to pressure you into saying anything, not when he didn't feel like it was the right time for it. And so, as you sat there in his arms, soon enough, you felt a lot better, and Nouvellet looked down at you. How are you feeling now? You seem to have calmed down. I have. I know, I probably scared you. I was scared too. I had a nightmare. I see. I assumed so as well. You do not have to tell me anything at all. Please feel free to rest. I'll be watching over you. You don't have to sleep if you don't want to either. He said, feeling rather hesitant. But you felt at peace and safe with Nouvellet being at your side and watching over you as you slept. So as he sat near you, you cuddled into his side and closed your eyes, curling up into a little ball as he wrapped an arm around you. In the other hand, he used it to run his fingers through your hair. All he wanted for you now was to get proper rest. And if this was anything bigger than a mere nightmare, He's quite sure that you will have to talk about it. But now was not the time. Now you were shaken. And you needed rest. And you will make sure that you get that. Even if it's the last thing that you will do today. So, in the end, he barely gets any sleep. But as a dragon, he can actually love with that. He doesn't mind so much. Although it was a bit of a tiring day. But... Seeing you wake up, and knowing that you slept well, even though there were worries on your mind, and that he was able to help you in some capacity, it made him feel at peace. Shao, Shao, the conqueror of demons. And he really just wanted to know what demons there were in your nightmares, just to conquer the seal. But apparently he could not, because now... He was woken up by the sound of your scream. At first he was startled. Then he calmed down. But you looked sad and sorrowful. As you looked at your farm, you were curled up. And you seemed to be crying. And you couldn't say anything right now because nothing came to his mind. And nothing felt proper. For now he just knew that you were in pain. From your thoughts and from your mind. And there was nothing he could do to fix that. But maybe, 
just hoped that he would feel better soon. And that's simply why he wrapped an arm around you, so gently and so slowly, so you would not be startled. And it worked out pretty fine. And you slowly just began to melt into his arms and embrace, and closed your eyes, letting out a soft sigh. I'm sorry, he murmured, but Shao was not having it. He shook his head and pulled you even closer, his hold on you becoming a little bit firmer. Please do not apologize. You have done nothing wrong. But, Shao, I bothered you. I shouldn't have woken you up like this. I feel rather weak. But you're not. You are strong, Wyan. I don't see why you would say that about yourself, so please do not. And he seemed so firm about it, too, that you really just could not deny him that. Instead, he just took a soft breath and nodded, and wrapped your arms around him tightly. Are you really not upset with me? I didn't want to burden you in the middle of the night. Please, believe me when I say I barely even sleep at night. I, as an adeptus, don't need sleep the same way that you do. So I recently developed that habit. Just to, I suppose, cuddle with you as you sleep. And although it seemed rather random to say this, he wanted to be honest with you. But that random fact thrown in the middle of everything, it made you smile, despite your horrifying nightmare. And you looked up at him, laughing softly. You would do that just to cuddle with me? Well, Shell, I didn't expect this from you. What do you mean? Is it a particularly bad thing? No, who said that? I'm only saying. It's rather cute, that's all. And you blushed, but smiled, nodding. If you think so. However, this is the only time that I will allow you to say such a thing. Oh? Because I'm sad? I suppose so. I don't want to ruin your night. Please tell me. Is there anyone scaring you? Or just someone threatening you? If you need to talk to me, please. Well, child, don't worry about it. It's just that I... There are things from the past. And things I would rather not think about. But one day I will tell you. I promise. You do not have to, really. But you shook your head, leaning up to kiss him. I know I don't have to. But I trust you and love you. And I want you to know. And Shao felt his heart melt. But he wouldn't say a single thing. He just held on to you. For the rest of the night. Because right now all he needed. Was for him to be with you. And he would give you that. And his silence. Just for now.